This match is a main card opening contest and is for the MMW Tag Team Championship. Well, this is it, ladies and gentlemen, the opening match of uh, Summertime Brooms 2023. And, well, it's a tag team competition for the MMW Tag Team Championship belts. I'm sure you are aware of uh, Oliver Marks and Summer of Three winning those. Entering the union at first. Cashing in his title contract up for this opportunity. Oliver, Marks, and his tag team partner, Sir Dominic. Three. A championship match. Opportunity, and obviously. Oliver able to cash his in for this opportunity. We need a tag team partner, so that's where that rare area lies. So, so Domino Green doesn't have to cash his in until the main event. That's how it works apparently. Shrewd uh, idea from these two. Try and win two titles in one night. Seems like it's not been done before. Seen similar in the world of wrestling recently. It's a domino there. Just giving words of wisdom to a little Max, possibly. But uh, these are our opponents. I will take vengeance upon mine enemies. And I will repay those who are tag team champions. And that's what the Utati they displayed in uh, that uh, cell match war game as well. I don't want to see these two kids chances. To be perfectly honest, I'm not surprised against them. We'll see how he goes in this match. Will this be his first match? No, apart from the other one, obviously. And there we are, the challenges. Of course, it's every match. I'm being stupid. The weather's too hot. And there's the champions, I'll be kissing those belts goodbye. Only time will tell once the referee's raised his belt in the air. And time to the side. Before the bell rings, and here we go. And Oliver Max picks up Damien straight off. Tosses him to the ropes and yeah now. Offensive manoeuvre there, keeping the profit on the canvas, stretching, stretching those arms, taking them away, and that knee drops to the back, and now he makes a tag to Domino, but Defile is ready for that, tries to drag him into the corner, but Domino's not having any of it. Kick to the face. Now, glory of kicks in, and that ends a glory. But the final back to his feet. Reverses that hold. Makes the tag to Daniel. And Daniel now sends on to the ropes, but misses with that punch. Sends him into the turnbuckle there. Pulls on the arm. Trying to dislodge the shoulder and the elbow, probably. 
Yeah, Luz Domino stunned in the corner. And he gets slammed in there again. And now the big man with a flurry of knees to the abdomen. Sends Domino to the canvas. Yeah, Daniel picks him up though. Punches into a spine buster. And that's working on that sort of low abdominal area. Backhand front makes a tag to Damien Defiler, who comes in, goes for a knee, but he gets blocked. Domino gets blocked. Defiler back on the offensive, brings him to the corner again. Domino's having none of that. Stops Domino on his tracks and he gets tossed back into the corner. All the while, it can be more days and confusion. I think he might have been busted wide open there. Yes, that headshot. Too many headshots into that turnbuckle. And Domino now bleeding from the forehead. While Defiler attacks the other part of his body. Sends him over the ropes. Oh! And there's a violent spear through the ropes into all the marks as well. Even a prophet can fly, it seems. Power bomb for Domino on the arena floor, and that's going to cause more issues in that back and lower lumbar area. But there's a count now. Oh, and more pain. On the lower back of Sir Domino 3. Six. Gets tossed back in at uh, six counts. Oliver looking for a tag, gets it as Damien enters the ring. And now both men trying to attack the final, but the referee's counting Domino obviously. He gets out, distracts the for a second though. Enough for all the marks to do some damage. Beautiful springboard flapjack there. And now Oliver used to fire a taste of his own medicine. And, uh, gives him some knees a la Daniel Siffer. And now he's squashing the chest in the corner there. Ooh, and there's the knees to the chest. That's going to take the wind out of his sails a little bit. Makes the tag to the bleeding. It's a domino who goes for a pinfall attempt. And he gets the one count though. On this occasion, the father not quite ready for the pickings yet. Breaks out of that. Uh, Controlling room manoeuvre. That's a snapdragon. Moving to Domino. Dazed on the canvas. Tag is made. Daniel Sifu picks him up in the power bomb. And now bringing him to the corner. No, just wandering around like a rag doll. Proving he can. And now one knee to that sternum. There we are. Domino makes the save there with his foot. Gets pushed away. Gets foot punched. There's it. An attempt to break free. It's fruitless. And now his arms get pulled again. Damien, sorry Daniel with the butterfly suplex. Makes the tag to Damien. Got it right one of these days. Should know by now, should know really. And there's this spinning sent on from the top rope. All the way across the ring. Daniel running to stop Oliver, but Oliver being punched to the face there. The referee didn't make the three count. <laughs> and Damien misses that springboard moonsault. 
Puts an end to Guri. From Sodomino. Into a neck breaker. Now Dunno tags Oliver in. And you know, both of these kids doing quite well, I would say. Oh, but there's a DDT delivered. Oh, but Oliver goes for the crucifix pin. Out of nowhere. Didn't quite make it, obviously. So, looking for something here. A power bomb into the knee. As we saw Damien up on the earlier. And now he's got him in that cross face sleeper. Trying to send him to sleep. The Fyler breaks out with those elbows. He's still got power in that upper body. That takes all the marks down to the canvas with a full kick and a short, small drop kick there. Knee to the arm. Keeping marks under control now. Gets uh, away from that. Good punches and chops of his own. Spinning back punch there. He picks up Damien. Looking for something here. Oh, and there's that discus punch. He goes for a tag now. Brings Domino in. Damien getting to be confused near his own corner. But Shooting star pressed by Sugamino. And Domino maybe could have gone for a pinfall there, but he's looking to showboat a little bit. And gets an elbow to the gut. And then he gives one back to uh, Damien. And he hits that. Hurricane Rama manoeuvre, but he's often missed in the past. He missed the uppercut there. Damien got out of the way. And there's a haymaker of his own. Into the defile drop. Now Damien looking for the pinfall. Lord Sifra calling for the referee to stop Oliver Marks. Now Damien attacking marks in the ring here. Sent him foot down to the canvas with a big suplex. Rolls out the ring. Now Damien looking for something but it's a domino on the ball. Sosses into the ring apron. Punches in. Oh and there's a cutter on the middle rope. Sends the profit to the outside as well. Dace and confused. Daniel now, not quite sure what's going on. Looking to get away, get back on the apron. Oh, and gets a punch. Right in the chops. And he's done now looking for the same thing here. Yes, the cutter on the middle row. But it won't. A count out won't uh, win them the title. Damien's the legal man anyway. He comes back in. But, uh, a butterfly toss there. Into a reverse DDT. Oh, knee to the face. Moving Domino dazed on the canvas. Oh, and there's the snap suplex. Hamming the back of to Domino even more. Damien makes the tag to Daniel. Daniel back in now. They just mount to Domino and lasers heavy ham hocks into the already bleeding face. And this is not going to do Domino any favours. I mean, I know there's a long time. Ooh, and all of it. With a defence attack there. 
Watson's Damien to the outside and Domino goes for a pinfall. And a confused Daniel Siffer gets the same count only. Ooh, and a stupid start. Press from the top rope. Keeps Daniel on the canvas. Ooh, but he gets his knees up for that one off the top rope there. And it's Domino as a match later, obviously. And then in the main event, he's opening this. And the main event is his uh, cash in, shall we say. He'll be cashing that in for the uh, universe unified heavyweights. But uh, by the looks of things now, Daniel's going for pinfall here. And Domino at taking the better part of Barrow and staying down. Great action in this match though. Could have gone either way at certain points. You know, the young kids doing very well. I mean, if that hit, could be looking at new champions here, but then we've got the feet up, knees up. Where are you, friends? I'm still the MMW Tag Team Champions. Domino, the outside for you. And he's just up to right there, to the file. He's got bigger fish to fire later on, and he's too retained. The crowd's not that happy. They never usually are. These two, but they retain the belts. Oliver lives to fight another day, and let's get on with the next match, ladies and gentlemen. This is your MMW All-Star Championship Contest. Standard rules are in play. The winner of the match is the man gaining victory by a pinfall or submission. Weapons are not allowed, and there is a 20 count on the outside of the ring. If all that is clear, then let's get our competitors inside the squared circle. Well, straight in with another title match, ladies and gentlemen. It's the All-Star Championship Contest. do with some of them the father given uh, Daniel's success but you know they probably won't be turning bad anytime soon especially when uh, they're facing Punisher and DMT later but uh, you know these things happen And let's get ready for the formal introductions. Introducing the challenger. He is one half of former tag team champions, but no, Ivan. And has Kenny Tom at one side for support at this time. He is the master grappler, Simple. And the current all-star champion. He is the brick house of the new, no, world order. The man mountain, hill, for Uber beast, beast, just standing stoically. Raises that belt a lot. You, you people 
into that. Many of this crowd probably hoping that uh, Sinta can use his wrestler prowess and grab hold of that belt. We'll wait and see. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sinta with a good opening salvo. Tries to drag you the beast to the ropes, but uh, it's fended off. Gets reverse chokes and I guess that's what you call it. Never really thought about that to be honest, but yeah, that's like a neck on a neck sign, I don't know. Ooh, but that's a beautiful clothesline from Cynthia. Taking the big man down, that straddled his cage, on it. And I think Cynthia has to continue to do those sort of big moves there, like the spine buster he just executed. Keep this big man on the canvas and work the, you know, the mat techniques. He's doing quite well at the moment. And I don't know if we'll get any interference in this match from Uber's buddies. Dragon screws. It's in there. Oh, goodness. That was a vicious toss in the air. Bring it in there. Down to the earth, down to earth as it were. Now, Uber Beast climbing the top of the bloody hell. Oh, and there's a knee drop. Into a pinfall. Two count only. Cinder not quite done. Uber Beast not happy. And like I say, I don't know if we'll see any of. Well, I say any, the two other people that have formed this vile faction. Punisher and Dean Seed, because they'll be uh, getting ready for their bout later on this evening. At this event, that is. Um, against Luke and Lane. And that's got serious connotations. Winners of that match mean the losing team is uh, suspended for 30 days. And I don't know whether that's a stipulation that should be in wrestling, but. It's one that's in there apparently. Sinter now on the back on the attack. The Uber Beast reverses that and picks up the grappling machine and just dumps him on the floor there. Nearly three counts. Sinter just manages to kick out at the last second. But Uber stands on the chest. Stomach. And that's not going to be any good for Sinfair. Certainly in the digestion states. Oh, but there's a violent drop kick. Sinfair comes back and Kenny Time rousing the crowd. Leave it. Tosses Sinfair on the turn the hook. I think Sinfair might have hurt his knee. Uber's not giving him a chance though. There's the Uber drop. That uh, spinning elbow, spinning shoulder plant. And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Uber retains. And well, there was not really any much doubt in this one. Now after that vicious knee drop. On the top rope, no less. And it's basically all Uber Beast after that.
that's the chill drop. Short and sweet, this one, then, ladies and gentlemen. Short, maybe not so sweet for Cynthia, but he'll lift to find another day. Your winner by a pinfall, and still MMW All Star Champion, the okay. Man Mountain, the Bird. Well done, Uber Beast. You retain that for your buddies. Well, let's get on with the next one, then, ladies and gentlemen. You've not got time to waste. The following contest is a women's tag team match and is for the Live Wire Tag Team Championships. Let's get our teams to the ring for the formal introductions. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Suicide Blues train rolls on into this uh, Live Wire Tag Team Championship match. M. Dickies Divas, these two are calling themselves, or oh, Matt's calling them. I, well, you never know with Matt. But uh, he's packaged uh, Candy Kane and Win Stevenson together, hoping to uh, grab hold of uh, female gold to add to his stable, I guess. You know, along with Dixie. The man is an entrepreneur at heart. And let's see how these two fare in this match against. Did you feel the chill just then? This duo, the pain makers, current live wire champions, tag team champions, and you know. And chills down my spine every time I see them. Too far too creepy for me. And especially because sometimes James Doe puts that zombie walk on, and that just freaks me out, quite frankly. I watch too much, too many zombie movies to know. Uh, not to get anywhere nearer. And it's my honest opinion. She may be a lovely lady, but uh, I don't want uh, to give her a chance to buy. That's, that's all there is to it. Anyway, they're proudly displaying those championships around their waists. And we'll get into these uh, formal introductions after this little flashy. Yes, the title graphic. Introducing the challengers, representing Federation Online, accompanied by Matt Dickey. They are the team of Candy, Kane, and Win Stevenson. And their opponents, lurking in the Race dark corners of your sanity, they are the current Live Wire Tag Team Champions. The Pain Makers, Alyssa, Pain, and Jane. The referee takes them. Hands them to the ringside crew. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The match is on right now. Alison Payne, with a gorilla slam, straight off the bat. Climbs to the top, Candy Kane moves towards the corner. Alison with an elbow drop. Right on Wynn's chest. And that's gone some way to Day's win, but she's trying to fight back. But the uh, Undead Queen. It's far too quick for her. And she's gone for a pinfall already. Could have been a Short one, but no, when Stevenson kicks out but stays prone on the canvas, ready for Jane Doe's assault. Ooh. Jane misses the uh, springboard moonsault. 
and gets a slap in the face. As win sanctum can be king. And obviously these two underlaps tutelage. Yes, have an experience as such together, but uh, as a tag team, one wonders if the Rumble Rose can co coexist with an out and out online, Federation Online, that is. Oh, and there's a violent sack from Jane Doe, the new shiny wizard there. Booth attacks with the elbow. Leaving Candy Kane Dave from the corner. Jane Doe makes the tag to Allison. Allison comes in and just stomps those dirty great big boots all over Candy Kane. And now she goes for a figure four leg lock. She's very close to the ropes. Get in for a save. Breaks the hold. Gets out quickly though. And Alison continues the assault with a backbreaker. Pulling on those ligaments. Now stopping on the knee. And the uh, body crush. Now, like Daniel Siffer, just showing us she can control the opponent. Puts in the corner and leaves it to one. Candy reaches for the tag because she needs to get out of this ring. Very sharp push. Oh, a moment for working on a Jane Doe block. Alison's tagged in, gets stunned by Wynn Stevenson's flurry of punches and kicks and goes straight back for figure four leg lock. And Candy makes a save this time. Caught in the ring, gets slammed down by Alison. Matt not looking too happy about that on the outside. Sure will be uh, going into the head, head office to put in a complaint. But then showing she's worthy. <coughs> Slamming Jane Doe's face on the mat. Ain't gonna get any ugly. Ooh, and there's the MDKO. She's not picked that up off Matt. And that's the that's a signature move right there. The elbow drop of the top rope. Leads into mounted punches, semi-mounted punches. And a kick to the leg. Toss to the turn before. Laps her off the top of the turn, but stomped in the elbow. Elbows and feet just flying in the general direction of Jane Doe. Push her into the corner again, and there's that slap on the top rope. And no, it works clearly, and there's a kick to the stomach, a straight or boot to the stomach. And win tags in Candy Kane and goes for the stunt puller. Trying to yank the arm out of its socket. Ooh, and then an elbow to the face. And then a beautiful fisherman's buster. And Candy, no stranger to titles. Briefly held the uh, women's title. Before giving it a 
Going back to Dixie. Not in so many movements. It can be now just attacking Jane on the outside. Tosses are back in at a count of four though. There's a, you know, the standard 20 count I think in this match as well. I think we've moved to a 20 count on the main roster. All the training gyms and matches obviously have 10 counts. Um, I don't know if that's standard practice now, but I would say if it's in there, it probably is. Oh, and there's a violent club to the back of Allison's head. Candy now tagging Lynn Stevenson back in. And Allison with the upper hand. Throws her into the corner. Elbows to the side of the face. Leave Wynn prone on the canvas. Allison makes the tag to Jane Doe. Oh, this beer very gassy. She gets picked up in the, the knee drop there. Jane makes the tag to Allison again. Wynn coming back for more. Oh, and there's the power slam. Beautifully executed by the living dead girl. Now she's calling. Poor chokes out. She's got her in the middle of the ring there. Boom! A pinfall attempt. Candy though comes in and breaks it up. Allison tosses Candy to the floor. Boom! Flying drop kick. The candy cane as well. Candy trying to get out, but uh, Allison preventing her. The referee's counting her out now. Allison distracted by Candy. But caught by Will Stevenson. In that DDT. She goes for a pinfall. Nearly, nearly new champions right there ladies and gentlemen and that's what you have to do to these two individuals, the distraction for Alison off guard, oh there's a violent elbow stump her again and I mean if Candy just stabbed you with one of those heels that would be bad enough I think Will it affect these uh, undead people? Are they undead? Don't know. Again, I'm not getting close enough to ask these questions. And Lynn Stevenson now with those mounted punches and a slap to finish it off. Kicks the back. Tags can be clean in. Candy tried to pick her up but got caught out. Allison now dragging Candy to the corner. Candy's not quite dazed enough. She tries to toss Allison out but Allison puts the brakes on. Oh, and there's another gorilla slam. Giving Candy something to think about. Wow. Jane Doe is tagged in and uses that uh, zombie knee to full effect. And now the arm puller and leans to her back. Rendering Candy almost unconscious. I mean, I'm saying that for dramatic effect, probably, but you know, it's uh, not far from the truth. And now, knees in the corner. We've seen some of those earlier this evening. Do they all go to the same move? I suppose they all do go to the same moves class, don't they? Just, you know, a little bit weird when you see 
everyone doing the same moves, but I guess that's what happens in the real world. Alison Payne out, breaking up the uh, moment. Monotony with that stolen suplex. Oh, and a, a failed flying punch there. And a one arm dragon. And Candy's in control, and there's a beautiful boat to back suplex. Completely dazing Jane. She's groggy on her feet now. And there's a Northern Light suplex. Candy Kane makes the tag. Matt looking hopeful here. There's the sidewalk slam. Alison makes the break though. Such as Candy to the outside. Now Jane Doe with the full offensive. Russian leg sweep into the mounted punches. And Matt now worried. As the pain makers do what they do best. Inflict pain on his uh, divas. Mounted punches there from Jane Doe. Mounted punches on the outside to Candy Kane. Nothing the referee can do about those. Matt not wants to get involved either, and there's a pinfall attempt from Jane Doe. Wynn Stevenson just kicks out at the last second. And now Jane attacks Candy on the apron. Candy dazed and confused. Rendered essentially useless until she can go shake off the cobwebs. Oh, and there's that MVKO again. Wynn Stevenson knows she's got to up her game now. She's trying to stretch. Alison Payne. Alison gets out of that. And hits her with a little choke slide into a pinfall attempt now. Two count only. And this, this is back and forth. This, this is... Amazing, ladies and gentlemen, this is truly wrestling. Slams win in the corner. Win. Two quick on that occasion. Oh, and there's the face slammer. Two count only. But Dickie's Divas. Uh, Getting close, getting closer. <laughs> Alison breaks that hold. Again, with more offense. Gets caught off guard there and hook tossed. And chops to the chest and chin. Gets picked up. Drop down. Another pin attempt. Candy in to make the save though. Nelson now just choking the life out of Win Stevenson now while the referee's back is turned. He makes the tag now to Jane Doe. As Win lies in the canvas prone. Jane Doe goes in for the tag. Mounted punches, kicks to the sternum. Yeah, zombie kick. Back to pulling the arm. Breaking the back. And then now, looking dazed on her feet. Being dragged to the corner. Ah! 
more knees in that corner. And that's the fundamentals here. Back to the zombie kick and arm stretch. Just attacking Lynn Stevenson's back by the looks of this. Like a shark in the water, but Wynn makes the tag desperately. Candy now. Flurry of uppercuts. Takes down Alison Payne. Who's the legal woman at this juncture? Snap there. Keeps a living dead girl on the canvas. And now Candy. Going for that surfboard stretch. Into the stomp. Pinfall attempt, but Jane go in for a break hit. Candy tosses Jane to the outside. Went for more offense, but uh, Alison kicked her away. Picks her up in that sidewalk slam. And this is a pinball in the middle of the ring. Green now used to break it up at the last second. Alison went for choke slam, but Wynn broke out like that. Tossed into the turnbuckle there. She's not the legal woman, I don't think. I'm not sure. But Alison keeping her there. Matt just frustrating the angle by the looks of him, shaking his fist. Not happy with the referee, you can tell that. But Andy goes for a pinfall. Someone manages to give up hand with Allison, but Allison manages to kick out. And Matt gesturing again, the referee trying to ignore him. Candy now with an arm bar. And Allison Payne. And continuing to work on the arm. And now the Reverse clover leaf. More like an Indian death lock actually, but yeah. And now Matt's happy. Candy parading Alison around the ring because she can and tosses it into the turn the court. Now she makes the tag. There's the double team out. And surely at this juncture, the haymakers must be clinging on to some sort of hope. Because Matt Dickey's diva is here up their game but uh, I guess it only takes things like that press slam from Alison Payne to stop the momentum Vin Stevenson breaking out of that now kick to the gut there stops Alison's momentum she gets pushed into the turnbuckle and beaten with the turnbuckle Wynn Stevenson now wanting a piece of Jane Doe and Jane Doe comes in and makes the tag. Is this, this is how it is legally, is it? Candy Kane just barely made the save there. I guess because uh, Alison was dazed in the corner. The referee will allow it. Allows the match to continue and Alison getting beaten by Candy in the corner there. Our win 
tries to choke out Damon. The referee's more concerned about the two illegal competitors as such. We might have seen new champions again there if the referee had been paying attention. Edwin Stevenson now back on the offence. Mounted punches to the uh, zombie girl. And there's the face breaker. Win to the top. And there's the swanton. Two or oh, one count, I think. Nearly two, but uh, Allison broke it up. And that was lucky. Candy Kane still days on the outside. And there's that spinning sidewalk on the middle of the ring, and this could be. Allison again breaks that pinhole. Win misses with the super kick. And gets an elbow to the face. There's the back buster. First face buster, I should say, probably. Ooh, and that's a violent elbow for Jane Doe. Jane Doe's got it covered now. Actually, this is with the Superman punch again. It's atomic drop. Running Jane Doe on the mat. Candy back to her feet. Gets back in the corner. Win. Just with a beautiful dragon suplex there. Short super snap super snap suplex. I can't speak. I think there's something in this beer. And now Jane win. Sorry. Jane on the outside gets tapped by Wynn on the, uh, on the top turn but the uh, elbow drop. A flurry of punches on the outside. Oh, and then there's the MDK on the arena floor. That pad in, like we always say, it's very flimsy. It isn't really padding at all, it's just sort of a Thin layer of sponge, if that. Ref. Jane gets counted out. These girls won't win the title, but they'll win this battle, I guess. It's been going on a long time now. Might be just looking for a second chance. Candy slamming Jane Doe into that room of barricade there. Jane Doe, with an attack of her own. Small spear into a mounted punch. More mounted punches, keeping Candy on the floor. And obviously, if Candy is counted out. Oh, and she gets tossed to the stairs. Candy's counted out then. The Painmakers win and they retain the championship. It's that, it's that simple. Jane slides back out. Ooh, and there's that leg lariat. Keeping Candy down there, but because she's got out, the count resets. Ooh! A violent assault by the Empty announce desk there. She gets slammed from those stairs again. Jane goes back in. Taunting. Goes back to her corner. And Alison Payne sort of looking to the outside. I guess that's telling her seconds or deputy or whatever you want to call it. 
get the job done. Candy, with that belly to belly. Leaves Jane on the outside. Now, Candy drags Jane down. Mary in the floor. Stand in there, hoping not to get involved, I'm sure. And Jane slammed into the steps. And I guess, yeah, if you've got uh, a 20 count, you can do what you like. Candy back on the outside though, breaks that count. Resets it, but it's all about attacking Jane Doe now. Maybe at this juncture, <laughs> count out victory for Matt Dickey Stevens will at least ensure they get a rematch. But Jane Doe coming back now. Beautiful small block kick there. A low block kick to the knee. And there's a zombie knee. Jane Doe dives back in the ring. And back out again. He gets caught by Candy. Slammed into the steps. Win now on the outside. Winning. What was this tactic here? Candy off the top rope. Will Stevenson is running. Interference there. Distracting Alison Payne from what's going on in the, this back corner. And that's, I mean, that's the genius of Matt Dickey. He's cheated these ladies well. Candy makes the tag to win now. Jane Doe still on the outside. Count gets reset. There's a super kick. Taking the zombie girl down. And there's a knee to the zombie girl's elbow. From Win Stevenson. And this is all about now. Just beaten down on Jane Doe, possibly. She's coming back. Five. Six. Six count now on Wynn Stevenson. Seven. Eight. And Candy gets in the way of Jane Doe. Jane steps back outside. Oh, and there's a short arm play time. Takes Candy to the arena floor. She gets tossed to one side. And now Jane Doe attacking in Stevenson. Hands her up. Oh, and there's a violent kick. Five. And we get close to the time limit now. Now we've been going. Seven. And, well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. It, the time's run out. Let's look at some of these replays here. Those offense from the champions. And those offense from the challengers in equal measure. We've gone 30 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, and even though it's one of those Superman punches connected, there were opportunities aplenty. It's a time limit draw, ladies and gentlemen. The referee has declared this match a time limit draw. 
Therefore, still, you're my wife. Tag Team Champions. The team of Alice and Payne. This is still the champions. Jenny, the well, that's Payne. it for this week. I'll Thank see you next week, ladies and gentlemen. Good fight. Good night.